What up, everybody? This is your Cosmic Homegirl, and I'm back with another celebrity slash YouTuber slash public figure reading. Yes! So for those who don't know, I am an intuitive astrologer. I'm a professional astrologer. This is what I do every day, all day for a living is I look at people's astrology charts. I do readings and I am a huge fan of the beauty world on YouTube. I have a lot of Venus energy in my natal chart. Okay, I've got all this Taurus energy, seventh house energy. So I'm a really big fan of anything that is girly, that's makeup, hair, fashion, all of that stuff, honey. So I have been watching YouTubers grow and blow up on on uh, social media, mainly YouTube for years. I'm so at, like I admire their success a lot and their success stories. And of course, you know, I've got to follow along by looking at people's astrology charts, their natal charts, their birth charts, whatever, and see what brought them to success, you know? So today I'm doing a chart for Ms. Manny Mua <laughs> or Manny MUA. Um, MUA stands for makeup artist for those who do not know. And he is a YouTuber that um, started out by doing tutorials and he still does makeup tutorials on his YouTube channel. And he has grown a lot into a lot of success. He was the male ambassador for, okay, I think Maybelline, Mercury's retrograde right now, so please don't shoot the messenger, okay? Like, I think I may have got that wrong, but he was a male ambassador for a major drugstore makeup brand, and, um, you know, he's had some other successes too. So what's up with this with this guy, with Miss Thing here, with uh, their astrology chart? So what I do is um, I look up a map of the cosmos, as you see here, at the moment someone was born or it could be the just the day that they were born too. Sometimes I do have people's birth times, but sometimes I don't. However, as I mentioned, I'm an intuitive astrologer, which means I feel um, the energy from people, even when I watch them through a screen, when I listen to them talk, when I see their behaviors, I hear key phrases that they say, then I can get a really good idea of around what time they were born, even if they don't know it or if it wasn't given to me. So that's what I do. And I look up all the planets and some asteroids and where they were at the day that th that person was born, the moment they were born, and how does that affect their personality? How does it affect their life events that happen? Um, it shows all of that stuff, and it's super fascinating. So um, I'm not going to go too deep into that, uh, like all of the technical stuff. I do have a little video that I made on that, so I will put it up in the I button in the corner so you guys can go um, reference that. But this is Manny's chart, okay? So Manny, we have his birth date, April 4th, 1991. He grew up in San Diego, so I'm assuming he was born there, even though I don't have a confirmation of that. And as far as the birth time, you know what? I think I may have tried to reach out to him before years ago, but he still had a large following, like so large of a following. It, it was really, it would be so hard to like actually get in touch with him to get his birth time. Um, so I don't have a confirmation of this. However, based on his behaviors and the energy that I pick up from him, I think he was probably born around sunset, okay? And I will explain why in a little bit. So Manny is the queen of if you don't like it, then don't mother watch it, okay? That's like a little a little motto, a little uh, slang, um, his little slang term that he says all the time on his channel as an intro. And uh, the reason why is because, well, number one, he's an Aries. Everybody knows if you're born April 4th, your sun sign is Aries. That's this little symbol here. It's the sun, okay? Um, but also he has Mercury, the planet of communication in the sign of Aries as well. So the way he speaks is very Aries, which is very blunt. And they are the kings and queens of the F word. Let me tell you, Aries are like some of the number one people to drop F bombs all the freaking time. I think it's them and also Sagittarius, their fellow fire sign. But, um, and Manny has some Sag too in the mix, which I'll get into in a little bit. So yeah, if you don't like it, please don't mother watch it, okay? So that's like his kind way of telling you to F off if you come through his platform to hate and to talk stuff because Aries are very intolerable of things. However, we're gonna take a little deeper look because I know people are thinking, oh my God, Manny, he's like a big softy, you know what I'm saying? So what do you mean by that? Well, there are layers to people, okay, based on their charts. So 
He is a sun and Mercury in Aries. You can very much tell he's in Aries. Um, he's very, Aries like to be first to do things and he's very quick with things too. They have a lot of fiery energy because they're a fire sign, duh, okay? <laughs> and um, also some other little things I noticed is um, Aries rules the head and he does tend to like touch his hair and touch his head a lot. So I'm like, oh my God, the total Aries. And he did a video with one of his brothers super hot brother by the way um doing his brother's makeup his brother is straight but he agreed to like just do this fun little video and he's like oh my gosh i have such a huge head compared to my brothers well a lot of aries born people they do tend to have larger heads than others because aries rules the head and whatever sign is your sun or your ascendant or rising or your moon even and it gets even more complicated than that Whatever sign is contributing to your appearance, it can be an area where you're very well endowed or it can be an area of like um, that, that you have issues with, you know what I'm saying? Like to where some people have handicaps in that area or it, it's an area of your body that's very prominent and stands out. Okay, so he's definitely an Aries sun. Aries, Mercury, yeah, he can be pretty blunt a lot of times with what he says, but there is a softer side to him. Because, like I said, I feel as if he were born at sunset. The reason why is I pick up on so much Libra energy from Ms. Manny. It, I would bet millions of dollars. I would make a large lump sum of money bet that he has some Libra energy very strong in his chart. He just screams Libra to me, okay? And I know some people, oh my god, he's an Aries. Yeah, but... There's more than one sign that you are. There's so many different energies in your chart. He screams Libra. Let me tell you, like my little Miss Cleo radar is like Doo -doo -doo, Libra, Libra, like flashing rant, 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 rant whenever I see Manny. And I think because his ascendant may be Libra. Now Libra ascendants, they do tend to be very, uh, Libra is a sign that's ruled by Venus and Libra and Venus rule aesthetically pleasing uh, sites that you can see or or material items or even people i'm not saying that every libra is like the most beautifulest in the whole wide world and everybody's ugly okay i'm saying that a lot of libra risings tend to be very attractive or that's the first thing that people notice about them they say oh my gosh you're so handsome you're so attractive you're so this you're so that and they tend to be really into their appearance as well because once again they're ruled by venus the planet of vanity and beauty Okay, and he has a Libra face to me. It's very hard for me to explain. Maybe one day I'll do videos on how I notice features of the signs and the energies, but um, he has a Libra nose, okay? Uh, Libra people tend to have more like slender, pointier noses than maybe even the rest of their family if none of their fa other family members are Libras like them. Um, but they tend to have noses like that and, you know, he just looks very Libra to me. And so um, I think he may be a Libra ascendant. If he's not a Libra ascendant with sun and Mercury in the seventh house, then he could be a Gemini ascendant and have his moon in the seventh house. Now, once again, super mad complicated to explain that stuff, but Libra is the seventh sign on the zodiac wheel. And when we look at somebody's birth chart and we see seven, the seventh house, it acts similar to Libra. So if I say, somebody i feel a libra energy from them either they are a libra sun moon or rising or they are somebody that has planets in their seventh house okay little astro math nerdy stuff for you guys so he is either sun in the seventh or moon in the seventh i'm going to go with um him being a libra rising though because of the timing of life events that i've seen and also you know the ascendant it's marked AC right here or the rising. It can rule your appearance in a way and so can the sun. And um, Manny always rocks Libra, more Libra-esque colors. Aries is ruled by Mars, the red planet, okay? And a lot of Aries people, they really like bold reds and, you know, Aries could be some angry people and the way they dress could be a little angry too, you know what I'm saying? What I mean by that is, yeah, they can wear like a lot of red or a lot of black, you know, and just kind of be like badasses. Yeah, like that's normally the energy of Aries, but his energy is very soft and feminine and he rocks a lot of pink. He rocks a lot of pink, in particular, 
the blush pink or pinky nude or nudie pink. I, I hear, I've heard it being called so many color or blush nude, blush pink. That is a color that Libra rules. Okay, and I will get into that more deeply in another video as well, as far as like the signs and, and their energies and the colors that are associated with them. But he rocks that Libra color all the time, let me tell you. And if you notice who else is a Libra, uh, known to be a Libra, Libra sun sign is Kim Kardashian and her whole, her, her whole aesthetic, excuse me, her whole aesthetic is that is nude and pink and blush pink. Okay, and that is because she's the ultimate freaking Libra. That's why, side note, I was just a little salty when Kim released her first palette and the color Libra is a is a blue. I was like, girl, no ma'am, a blue for Libra? Psh, get out of here. Libra is pinky nude, nudie patootie, blush pink all day. So anyway, Miss Manny always rocks that color, okay? And it looks to be one of his favorites. So that's also what was a dead giveaway to me, that he's got seventh house energy and or Libra energy. Another thing is, he says he's a people pleaser. And when I hear somebody say that, the first sign that comes to my mind is Libra. Because Libra is the sign of others. And Libra likes to be um, admired and adored and well-liked. And uh, one of their main missions in life is for people to like them. And the reason why is because they are the peacemakers of the Zodiac. They don't like conflict. So they don't like to be too abrasive or offensive to other people to where they're not going to be liked. And they can really take it up the buttocks if somebody doesn't like them. And this is why I think he says in the beginning of his videos, if you don't like it, please don't mother watch it. Because not only is his airy side intolerable of stuff like that and wants to punch them in the face, okay? But also his Libra side is like, oh my God, they don't like me. Like, get them away from me. You know, they're negative, you know? So that's why that is because of the Libra energy, okay? So Libra Ascendant. Yes, I totally think he's a Libra Ascendant um, or pl seventh house planets. Now, let's see what else is going on in his chart. Have you guys noticed that he talks super fast, like micro, mach micro machine man fast from back in the day? Um, I don't know how old everybody is that's viewing this, but a long time ago, there used to be these uh, little cars called micro machines and there was a commercial for it. And there was a dude on there that talked so freaking fast, like blah, 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 micro machines. And every time I hear somebody talk really fast, that's the first person I think of. Or one of those people that are that work in the auctions, you know, they're like, blah, 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 blah. give me some high, give me eight, blah, 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 blah. like I can't even do that. My Mercury's in Taurus, so like no way. <laughs> but um, I think he. That's why I said he might be a Gemini rising. Gemini is uh, ruled by Mercury, and a lot of people with Gemini energy they can talk very fast. Okay, they do. I have a best friend. She's a Gemini rising. She has her Moon in the third house. And she talks like that, blah, 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 blah. And she's the one who introduced me to Manny. I had never heard of him years ago. And she's like, oh my God, you have to watch this guy. And then everybody that she sends to me, they talk like that. Blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh my God, my slow Mercury and Taurus. She can't handle it. So <laughs> why are you sending me these people? But anyway, um, that's why I said Manny could be a Gemini rising or he could be a Libra rising with his moon in the third house. Because moon in the third house people, they can talk very fast too because the moon is another planet that rules the mind. And I know some people, oh my God, the moon's not a planet. Get down with the astro lingo, boo-boo, and shut up, okay? When we just kind of talk astrology talk, it's a planet in that moment, okay? So um, the moon rules the mind and Mercury rules the mind as well. And so when either of those planets are in Gemini or in your third house, yes, you're going to be talking so fast, okay? La, 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 right? So, um, and he, he, his mind moves quickly. You can tell in his editing of his videos that his mind moves very fast. And that is the, the fiery Aries energy, okay? And it's also the Sagittarius energy. Now, he is a Sagittarius moon. What else does that mean for him? Well, the moon can show your family. It can show your upbringing. It can show how you were nurtured. And um, it can show how you deal with emotions. And he did say that he grew up in a religious family. Well, Sagittarius is one of the signs that rules religion, 
organized religion a lot of times when someone has a moon in sag or their fourth house which rules your home and family life they have it in sagittarius or they have jupiter here or something like that they grow up religious or they have parents that are very spiritual in some sort of way but mostly sagittarius it means like oh they had to follow like some very um strict religious beliefs you know what i'm saying so that shows with his moon in Sagittarius. And um, this is also why, you know, Sagittarius, Sagittarius is one of the signs that I find to have one of the best senses of humor. They are total comedians. They're goofballs. <laughs> so, you know, this is why he, he can be like that, like a total comedian. Um, and why he's like, yeah, like super goofy, right? Is the moon in Sagittarius. Now, going back to his planets in the seventh house and possibly, um, well, with possibly having planets in the seventh house and possibly having a Libra ascendant. Now, another thing that brings me to this conclusion is that he doesn't really like to pick sides when it comes to his friends. He doesn't like to pick sides and Libras are the most indecisive people ever. Oh my gosh, because they are represented by the scales. The scales that have to balance back and forth until they find, you know, the right answer or the right move to make or whatever. And a lot of times they turn to other people and say, well, what do you think? What do you think I should do? That's totally Libra energy. And Libra is a sign that is ruled by Venus. Venus is about peace, balance and harmony it doesn't like conflict and this is why even though maybe for example when he was friends with jeffree star and jeffree cut off ties with all kinds of other people and then when manny was still kind of hanging on as um, a friend we would assume uh but other people were cut off manny was still friends with these people because libra and seventh house energy doesn't like to pick sides a lot of times that could be seen as playing the devil's advocate you know or you're disloyal you don't even know where you stand or whatever but that's because like they see two sides of the story they see both sides of the coin and they are able to they they like to be agreeable people you know, so it's like, I bet you it, anything, if he was fighting with Jeffrey and then Jeffrey was fighting or Jeffrey was fighting with all these other people or whatever, you know, he's probably like, well, I see your point, Jeffrey, but I also see so-and-so's point. You know, I also see their side. And then he's like, well, now I don't really want to pick sides and I don't want to make anyone angry or upset or make anyone not like me. And that is another, uh, that's the people pleaser trait as well is is stuff like that and also um he came out with that that palette i was almost gonna say nudie patootie <laughs> nudie, nudie patootie wasn't his it was a uh, life's a drag and if you notice it's like half drag queen and half average woman nudes coppers pinks you know stuff that you can wear to work every day on an everyday basis because he wanted to make everybody happy he didn't want to come out with the drag queen palette and be like oh but what about my customers that are more like into the the copper and the nudes and the pinks and what about the the you know if i come out with a drag palette then what about all the average everyday chicks that just go to school and work every day what are they gonna wear you know, and if I come out with all the nudes and stuff, well, my homegirl Laura Lee already did, did nudie patootie, number one. Number two, you know, what what are the what are the drag queens gonna wear? You know, what about all my fans that like all the colors and stuff? So in order to be a people pleaser, that's how he was able to meet in the middle is with that palette. He had half of it is one one thing to appeal to one audience and the other half appeals to a different audience. Okay, to make everybody happy, that's what he did. And it's funny because I, I saw like, um, I saw this meme about uh, the signs as pizzas. And a lot of times, you guys, these memes about astrology, a lot of them come from sources of people who have no freaking clue about astrology. It's just, they base it on, well, my friend is a sun sign uh, Pisces and therefore all Pisces are like that such and such, you know? And that's what they can base it on. But so that's why a lot of memes are like a bunch of BS. However, I did find a meme about um, the signs as pizzas and it was made by an astrologer or somebody that studies it. And the Libra pizza looked just like the nudie patootie. I mean, not the dang nudie patootie, the um, life's a drag palette. It was half cheese and half pepperoni. So everyone will be happy. Yay. I was like, yo, if this isn't the freaking life's a drag palette, I don't know what it is. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know what is. And I think Laura Lee is a Libra rising too. Or she has a very strong Libra or seventh house presence in her energy as well. Very people pleaser. Um, even if she doesn't always show that, that's very underlying in her motives. I can tell. And that's why she came out with her two palettes. One that was very vibrant and colorful. The other one that was uh, nudes and pinks and neutrals and stuff. Because she wanted to make everybody happy. Same concept, you know what I'm saying? So that's a total uh, Libra and seventh house trait as well. Sometimes it can be taken to a fault to where you worry too much about both sides being happy and you go back and forth and then people are like, I don't even know who you are. Like, whose side are you on, dude? You know what I'm saying? People who are more driven by like Mars energy or um, I, I don't know, people who have other like different, uh, th their charts are arranged differently. They were born on different days and stuff they may view that as being disloyal, you know, and, and like, well, who is this person? They are so adaptable. If you have planets in your seventh house or if you have Libra planets, you could be super mad adaptable to other people because you want to make them feel comfortable. And he said that before, like I said, you know, I just want people to feel comfortable when they're with me and like, I understand them. And like they're, I don't want them to feel like they're an outsider, you know, so I'll try to find ways to where we are alike. That way, everybody is happy. So that kind of explains that. And um, he has Venus in the sign of Taurus. Now, Venus, it can show beauty, vanity, and also like the, the material things that you like in life, the things that you like to buy or whatever. And he has it in Taurus. Venus and Taurus people, oh my gosh, let me tell you. I have Venus and Taurus, so I'm speaking from experience, not just reading something from a book or an article, okay? But Venus and Taurus people love to collect things. They love to collect beautiful, pretty things, right? And if you watched, um, Manny did a recent vlog, I think, or video of his beauty room and, and looking around his beauty room, and he has a lot of stuff. And I know people will say, well, that's because he gets a lot of PR, and so duh, of course he's gonna have a bunch of stuff everywhere. But listen, everybody's different with how they organize their things and how much they keep their, their material things and how long they keep them and stuff. A Venus and Taurus can hold on to some stuff, okay? Like for a long time. People who have Taurus energy, on an, if they're vibrating on the, the lower vibration of Taurus, they could be total hoarders. But if they're on the higher vibration of it, they're just collectors, you know? And they know when to get rid of stuff. They know their limits with things. But Venus and Taurus will definitely collect some beautiful things, including makeup and products, okay? So that is his Venus sign. It's how he expresses himself in love. It's how if you are feminine, if you more identify as um, feminine or you're in touch with your feminine side, Venus will show how you express that. It can also show your style. And his style, he does have a little bit of flash to it. Yeah, sometimes, you know, he can be a little flashy or whatever, but he can be very basic. And I'm going to explain something to you guys. And this is like no hate or anything. It's just a, an explanation of someone's behavior and where it comes from. So um, I am a huge fan also of Rich Lux. If you don't know who he is, he is a quote unquote drama channel, I guess. Um, he does commentary on different makeup releases and, and beauty youtubers and stuff like that and he is so hilarious and original and just he just keeps me cracking up he always <laughs> clowns and says manny just rocks a copper eye nude lip copper eye nude lip girl and this is where that comes from because venus can show your style right venus and taurus this, this is an earth sign it's very basic it's earthy it's it doesn't usually go for loud and bright now once again there's a combination of things that can sh like add flavors different flavors like different seasonings girl okay uh you could put different seasonings on your chicken or whatever uh, you know not just a little pinch of salt okay so different things can flavor your style and how you look but one indicator of his is venus and taurus and this is why the copper eye nude lip basic look okay so i already explained the blush pinky nude comes from the seventh house energy and or having a libra ascendant and then also you know the naturalness <laughs> if that's even a word of an earthy venus and taurus which you know the colors associated with taurus more like subdued and muted they're like browns and and copper yes because that's a, a color you can find in nature any color you can find in nature 
commonly find in nature is associated with Taurus, right? So that's why he tends to stick to the same thing a lot. And Taurus energy, it, it's, it's about comfort, you know, it, it, they find something that they're comfortable with and that they're secure with, and that's what they stick with. And they could be very stubborn about it, just like an old bull, okay? They don't like to be, if you try to push the bull, they will dig their hooves in and they will be like, nope, I'm staying right here. So this is why a lot of times he can be, yeah, he can be very think outside the box and stuff, but he really likes to stick with what he's routinely uh, used to and what he's comfortable with, which is copper i do lit the house okay so that's where that part of his style comes from and um also you know like i said the the nudes and the pinks and all that stuff i don't want to be too repetitive but yeah that comes from here so what else can we say about manny mua based on his chart well um let me tell you guys something about love and relationships we never really see manny like seriously dating someone and I feel like if he indeed is a Libra rising, as I suspect, he could have Venus here in the eighth house. Now, what this means is this is a very, each, each slice of the chart, it rules a certain area of your life and of your personality. And I think um, the eighth house is very private. And so having Venus here, if you are really in touch with your feminine energy, even when dating, Venus can represent that. And so if he has that in the house of privacy, yeah, he's going to be a little private, you know what I'm saying? And also his Venus is in an opposition to Pluto. Pluto also rules things like privacy and secrets and stuff. So he could be very, very private about his true love life, okay? But listen, he's got all this air energy. He's got a lot of air sign energy. I can just like sense it from him. And it could be a Libra ascendant, could be planets in the seventh house indeed, and also a planet uh, like the moon in the third house. Those are all like, that, that's like air energy, which is very social and which can show you two different sides because think of third house energy as being similar to the third sign in the zodiac, which is Gemini. And Gemini is symbolized by a numeral two, right? And they are known for being two-faced on a negative side. So there are two sides to them. And then if you think of Libra, or, you know, the seventh house is associated with Libra energy. They are the scales, two scales, right? So they can show you two sides of themselves. So this is why he shows you mostly the positive, happy, hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, you know, he shows you what he wants to show you. But you better believe Miss Thang is very private and has a lot of parts of his life that he does not show you. He could have a boyfriend. You never know. We never know. And a lot of stuff that, where it's like, oh, my, I'm going on a Tinder date. That could be just pulling stunts, okay? <laughs> that could just be pulling stunts to protect his personal private world. Another reason why he's an extroverted introvert, just like Miss Patrick Starr, okay, is because he's got the fiery energy. He's got the air energy. But then he has, you know, Venus here in a very private sign, very private place of his chart. And he's got Mars and Cancer, so I have peeped that uh, little Miss Manny, she likes the older men's, okay? And a, and a big indicator of this could be having Mars in the 10th house. Think of the 10th house as like the house of the boss, the big time CEO, the general, the, the drill sergeant, the older distinguished gentleman and, and maturity and all that stuff. People who are very career oriented, they, they try to reach the top. But yes, this does rule older people he has mars here in the 10th house and mars if you date men can symbolize the men that you like you know so he has mars here in the house of maturity because he has shown on his snap sometimes oh um you know really liking somebody on a show and it's like an older looking gentleman and i'm like hmm he he i think he has a thing for the older dudes so um this shows that but also uh, he may have Saturn in the fifth house of dating. And Saturn is also a planet of old age and maturity and everything. And um, if you have that old age and maturity in the house of dating and romantic attraction, well, then you can be attracted to older people, older um, partners. Um, so I, I think that's why we don't really see too much of his like personal dating life and stuff. But yeah, and I think that's what he likes. Now, um, also with the sign of cancer being ruled by the moon, think about it, the moon, lunar, mm-hmm, lunar beauty, moons, cancer. I think that's why he has an affinity for moons. I think if I can recall correctly, he did have a thing for Sailor Moon, the, the anime cartoon. Like he actually liked uh, Sailor Moon. 
but um and he always wears like a little moon pendant on his necklace and he has a tattoo that has the moon on it and it has like he said his family's astrological signs or their constellations of their sun signs or something on it but there's a moon that's part of it and the moon rules family as well and it rules the sign of cancer and he has a planet in the sign of cancer so this is why the lunar beauty and the whole like moon theme is because of um because of his mars and cancer and uh you know if i have his his chart estimation time wrong maybe he could have some planets you know like here in the fourth house or something or be a cancer rising or something like that um but having mars and cancer definitely plays a part in liking the whole like lunar moon concept so i thought that that was pretty cool too also let's take a look at some events that have happened that we have seen from ms manny and explain them through astrology okay now, number one, number one, he is always accused of copying other people. And once again, I know I keep saying this, but I may make a separate video, like really going over this stuff. But the the reason why is because if he indeed has a Libra rising and or planets in his seventh house, um, one of the negative vibrations of Libra and seventh house, just being completely 100% honest, and if you're Libra and you have planets in your seventh house and you're not like this, okay, go, go somewhere else, okay, because you're not a part of this discussion. Look at your whole chart. There may be other influences affecting that. However, the lower vibration of Libra and seventh house is having the OMG Me Too syndrome, meaning because you really want people to like you and get along with you, you will say, you will find any reason to say, oh my God, me too. And a lot of times that can lead to plagiarism or just flat out copying something because maybe you're inspired by it, but you don't really have a, a, a proper boundary put up between inspiration and just flat out doing the same exact thing. Because seventh house energy, Libra energy, it's a sign and house of others, and it could be a reflection of others. You're a reflector for other people. When they talk to you, you could be like, oh my gosh, me too. I, I try to find a common ground with people, okay? And he always says that, <laughs> you know, he has been called out for um, repeating things that people say when he's hanging out with somebody. And this is because he has Mercury here. He may have Mercury in the seventh house of his chart. Um, now, I have Mercury in the seventh house of my chart. Here I go with the, oh my God, me too, right? But coming from a per the place of a person that has this Mercury placement as well, and I, I can totally, I've been through a little bit more life experiences than Manny has too, um, and observe my own behavior, you know, based on my chart. So I see how it can vibrate um, on the on the lower octave, you know, to where you just flat out just, oh my gosh, yeah, and just like really just repeat what someone says. And this can come off as being unoriginal. And also because of this type of energy in your chart, um, or in his chart, it, a lot of times maybe he really just wants people to like and accept him. So then it does kind of go to the the farther side, you know, further than it needs to go with um, putting things out there that he sees as successful. And it's like, oh, I want to do that too. Oh, I, I want people to like me and they really like this particular idea. So I'm going to do it too. A lot of times that can happen and there are so there are so many people in the beauty world you guys that have libra energy and or seventh house energy very strong in their charts and like i said we may not know their birth times but i will look at their exact birth date i will observe them and i i just pick up on that energy from them you know and they're always they're always accused of copying look at kim kardashian she's a libra sun that always happens to her beyonce she's a libra rising that always happens to her too. You know, people will accuse them, oh, you're not, you're unoriginal. And I don't think that they're unoriginal. I think they're just so overly focused on other people liking them that they kind of lose sight of themselves. This is, when when people have planets in this um, house in their chart or in the sign of Libra, a lot of times they, they can become other people. They become their partner. They become their best friend. And they're so influenced by them that like that becomes their identity too, because they really, they're the scales, right? They want to balance it out and they want to meet in the middle. And Manny even said that, hey, if I repeat things people say, it's because I want them to feel comfortable and know that they're not alone. And I'm like, yo, I totally get that because I have Mercury in the seventh house too. 
Um, but you have to know yourself and when to put up a boundary and know when to kind of just stay in your lane and let other people be in theirs. Even though you can relate to them, you don't always have to be like, oh my God, me too. And then like jump in with your me too stuff, you know? So I think that's probably why he talks like that. And hey, by me explaining it, it's not condoning it. And also I'm not shaming him either. It's just an explanation of someone's natal chart and their personality traits. Okay. Okay. So that's where the the whole repeating things come from. And, oh, I'm so inspired by this. Oh my God, me too. I want to do that too from this energy. Now, hopefully, you know, Manny, once he goes through his Saturn return, um, and that's from like 2021 until maybe 2023, maybe he will learn a little bit more about that and uh, like kind of tone it down, you know, as he gets older, because it can get you in trouble. You know, being inspired is one thing, like I said, but yo, flat out saying I'm a mirror image of this person or this idea is another, okay? So that explains that. And also, um, when he had a few, his falling out with Jeffree Star, I'm not going to get too deep into that. And I don't really care for hate comments either, okay? So just just save them, okay? But um, here is another reason why I think he may be a Libra rising. And also, I think Laura Lee is a Libra rising too. Is because in 2017, Mars went into the sign of Libra, okay? I'm going to pull up exactly when Mars went into Libra and show you guys around the time frame that was okay so here i have oh yeah i was looking up that that pinky nude blush color (laughs) to show you guys the libra color that i was talking about that um i see so many libras rocking and if you're a libra and you don't like that color we'll check the rest of your chart okay and just shush but um anyhow oh yeah and i pulled up a picture of him wearing that color he's got that color a lot in his aesthetic you know has that color shirt where's that color in the makeup color hat jackets all in this pinky nude blush libra color okay so now back to what i was saying about the beef and how that came about okay so this was 2017 now mars is a planet of anger and aggression and conflicts so whenever you have mars transiting your sign that means your rising sign your moon sign your sun sign even your mercury sign because that's how you talk okay that is a time when you can have a an increased chance of conflict with other people and people can agitate you like to the max like super mad agitate you okay and it'll be a little bit hard to kind of like resist uh conflict even if you're the most peaceful person so anyway um now manny's mars sign is cancer so mars this is mars here um this is like how we look at horoscopes it's pretty much the calculation of the planetary activity and you know we measure the degrees and all that stuff so anyway um his mars is in cancer well mars entered cancer in the summer of 2017 now if i can recall during that time that was when um i think that was around the time that manny and laura they went to the morphe store and they got a whole bunch of stuff and they got it complimentary of the owner of morphe and um but people were saying, oh, you guys are like mad fake. You know, you guys are over here pretending like you bought all this stuff and you got it for free because people like they clocked the receipts. They zoomed in on the receipt, the literal receipt. You know what I'm saying? And they saw zero dollars and they're like, who are you guys trying to fool? So they really got upset and they were clapping back. And I think that's when Mars was in cancer. I know Laura has something in cancer, too. I'll do her chart one day. But um, when Mar- Mars is in your sign one of your signs, it could fuel anger, okay? So that was like the clapbacks there. Um, I believe it was around that time, you guys, but, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so Mars, you know, then he went into Leo, then he went into Virgo, okay? And he went into Libra in October of 2017 and was there all through November and into December. Mars and Libra, And that was around the time when there was more like rumors coming up of uh, Manny MUA and Jeffree Star not getting along or their friendship had dissolved or something like that. And um, I think that was why is because when you have your Mars return or when, when Mars is in one of your signs, once again, other people can attack you or get really 
pissed off at you or you can easily get that way towards other people so they had a little falling out i think it was around this time and jeffrey star his mars is in libra so it was his mars return mars on mars is like you know like you know you want to sock somebody up so um it, i think it was around the fall i'm going to say even though they were kind of private about it i'm going to say around the fall is when things probably got like really super like heated like mad heated and probably um ended the friendship or really caused like a like a tear in the whole like bond close bond with them um and so yeah i think that's that's probably how that happened or when that happened i don't know how or why actually i have some ideas of why but maybe i'll do another video on that but here's the thing um actually let me just tell you guys i'll spill the tea a little bit the astro tea the cosmic tea here so jeffree star um he has uh i'll do his chart later but he has some Ur uranian energy that means the planet uranus which is very into originality and coming up with original ideas and concepts well with manny's like me too energy once again here's his chart with his oh my god me too i'm a reflection of you energy i think jeffrey probably got a little bit annoyed you know at, at um things going that direction to him saying oh my god me too or i want to do that too to everything or can you include me in that too me too me too me too um i think that could be something that played a role in that but i'll get into more of that later but another reason why manny is a very sensitive person is because his mars is in cancer now mars for men is their masculinity it's how they express their masculinity and when someone has it in cancer well cancer is a water sign it's a feminine sign it's a sign of the mother it's a sign of nurturing and feeding babies and all that stuff so when somebody has mars in this sign they're not always going to be well it depends on where it is in their chart and the rest of the chart but usually it's not the most aggressive mars sign like take a look at cardi b for example she has mars in cancer and she has an Aries moon and she has a Libra sun. So very similar um, combinations of energy. And uh, she will get out there and fight though because of that Aries moon, I believe. That's probably why. But um, her Mars is in Cancer, so she's very sensitive still, okay? And especially when it comes to family, Mars is defense. And if it's in the sign of family, well then, that's who you'll defend the most is your family, you know? And People who have planets in Cancer, they're very stuck to and attached to their families. And Manny is very much like that. His family rolls deep, you know, they stick together. So I think that that's why is because of his Mars in Cancer. And I know of one of his brothers, the one that appeared in his videos, um, the really cute curly hair one, he is a Cancer son. Um, I don't remember the rest of his chart. I think I looked it up before, but you know, so people who have planets in Cancer, it's like my family, my family, my family is everything. And if you have the 10th house of career in cancer, you will um, more than likely do a cancer type of job, you know, which is something nurturing, caring, hospitality, something to do with food or, you know, there's a list of, of careers there. But also you may be um, someone who works for a family company, owns a family business or you build a business for your family. And this, this could be why, if I'm right about his rising sign, is because of the 10th house of career being in cancer and having mars in cancer very defensive of the family okay and manny did say he did a video to where um he said his father wasn't as supportive of him being a part of the lgbtq community and wearing makeup and all that stuff because his dad is like mad macho but his dad has a sensitive side you can tell he was crying on camera a lot so you know he, he's got some feelings in there um, now the sun in your chart, it can show your father, just characteristics that you gain from your father. It's one indicator of that, of one of several. And so having a son in Aries, that means his dad must be like Aries, you know, macho in some kind of way, right? But also this part of your chart, the 10th house, it can show your parents or your father too, or your more, most dominant parental figure. And, um, so this, he has it in cancer. And so that means that his dad does have a sensitive cancer type of side to him too, this very family oriented and all that. Now, this right here is an asteroid. It's called Chiron. It's nicknamed the wounded healer. It shows in life where you could have received your biggest wounds and like people hurt you and you're hurt very easily. Whenever I see Chiron here in the 10th house of the father, a lot of times these people, they did, they had a very difficult relationship with their father. Like by birth, it's just like that. 
But notice it's called the wounded healer, okay? So it means that you could be hurt. That's your biggest source of pain. But there's an opportunity for healing there too. So now he and his father have a really dope relationship. His dad works for him. So I think that's totally explained here. Um, and Manny is very formally, fam blah, blah, sorry, family oriented too, because the South Node, which is the point in your chart that represents your past life, your past karma, um, how you were in a past life. So he he incarnated here with Cancer energy already. Okay, South Node and Cancer, very attached to family. But his North Node, which is like this, is the direction your soul is supposed to go into. It's like your soul's mission and journey, like in this incarnation. It's in Capricorn. Capricorn is a sign of business. Okay, it's a sign of being a boss, being a CEO, owning your own. And so he is here to be more of a business person and be on his own rather than just kind of like be under your mommy and daddy's butts all day. You know what I'm saying? It's a very independent sign. It's a sign of maturity and responsibility in itself. So that could be why also like he ended up moving um, out of San Diego to LA into his own home, even though it was probably so difficult with that South Node in Cancer. Boy, I bet you he cried all the time. Like, oh my God, I miss my mom and dad. <laughs> I miss my family. Oh my God. You know, and that's why he probably goes back and forth from LA to San Diego a lot is because he's got that cancer He's got that Cancerian energy that's, um, you know, it, they're the crab. They're, they're comfortable in their little shell and their shell could be their family or their hometown or something. So um, that shows that. Now, any predictions that I have for Ms. Manny? Well, let's see here. If he really indeed is a Libra rising, like I suspect, Saturn and Pluto here in the four, in this this part of his chart, which rules the home, I think this could be why he built a house and he moved in and everything, but I think he's talking about moving again. People are invading his privacy now, okay? They found out where he lives. He had some little kids knocking on the door and running or something like that, you know? Uh, people stole PR packages from his house and everything. And you know what? If somebody has cancer energy, if somebody has um, even Taurus or eighth house energy, they're going to be private people. They're going to be like, yo, like... I will let you guys in on my life, but I will only let you get in on what I want you to see. And I'm not going to show you everything. And I don't want you all in my business just because I seem very inviting and sociable. It doesn't mean I want you like to be invasive. You know what I'm saying? So I think that Saturn here, this is a planet that rules like hard lessons in life. It also rule, rules building like actual physically building structures and homes and stuff. He has Saturn here. Um, I think he is going to, I, this is a, an indicator of moving indeed, you know, and maybe having a little bit of a difficult time figuring out where is home um, and maybe having to move a few times due to some difficulties and some lessons that have to be learned about matters of home. So um, yeah, he's definitely moving. Um, as far as career and everything, well, um, Jupiter here in the second house, this rules products, okay, like this rules material goods and Jupiter is like a very lucky planet. And so I think this is why he's come out with his lunar beauty line is because of Jupiter here in the second house. Another thing is, um, oh, I want to kind of take it back a little bit and show like, how did he get so successful so fast? And once again, I know I sound like a freaking broken record, you guys, but I may do a separate video on this whole topic soon. Okay. But, um, Uranus, this little funny space station looking guy right here. This is a planet that rules reaching the masses. It rules social media. It rules technology and it rules the internet. And so he, um, this planet has been in Aries since 2011 and now it just moved into Taurus. It's going to retrograde back into Aries for a little bit from 2018 till like the first quarter of 2019 and then go back into Taurus again. But while it's been in Aries though, there have been so many Aries blowing up on YouTube, so many of them blowing up on social media in general, not just YouTube alone. Aries, Aries suns, Aries moons, Aries rising, Aries Mercury and Aries, Venus and Aries. Aries just kind of took over the YouTube game, okay? And that's because the you part of YouTube is Aries. Aries is a sign of me, myself, and I. Um, and then the tube part is Uranus, which is broadcasting. And they used to say broadcast yourself, right? That was the, the, um, the little motto or whatever. 
that's totally Uranus and Aries if you do the math, okay? So this planet, when it was transiting in Aries, a lot of people were broadcasting themselves and especially Aries. They were like, I don't know, I just picked up a camera one day and just started talking. And this is a planet of like, originality and just kind of expressing yourself as whatever whatever you feel like you are you'll express it if you are weird and quirky and different in some sort of way you will like just freely let it be known you know when this planet transits over your sign okay so yeah he had um uranus was in aries for a while and um that can show also massive social media success wherever this planet transits in your um in your sign or in your astrological chart and um if you ever want to see anything like that for yourself you know hit me up i do personal readings <clears throat> but Whenever this planet transits over um, your sun sign or your rising or in certain other areas of your chart, it can show massive success going viral because this is the planet of reaching the masses and it transits over you. Okay, so that is why he had a lot of success there. When I went over Patrick Starr's chart, if you haven't seen that video yet, go check it out. But Patrick is an Aries moon. So same thing, you know, Uranus transiting through Aries really brought him to massive social, social, show, show, <laughs> social media success. Okay. What else is ahead for Manny Mua? There's eclipses that are happening in the sign of Cancer and Capricorn from, we just had one July 12th of 2018. And then we will, starting in January, 2019, we'll continue to have Cancer, Capricorn, Cancer, Capricorn, eclipses and eclipses, they bring really large uh, events in someone's lives, like really significant events and announcements and stuff. So um, he can have some really drastic changes with his career, even more drastic changes with his career uh, over the next two, three years or so. Yeah, like like the next two years. And who knows, he may end up doing something totally different or maybe adding some other like hat or title to his career and what he wants to do as far as how people know him because this is the 10th house of career and your public image and your social status. So he will definitely go through some major adjustments there, major changes. Who knows if he will leave YouTube and social media behind Mm, I'm not sure. I think that's uh, like years away. You know what I'm saying? But um, he may want to add like a different title, like um, like on Zoolander, <laughs> the slash award that Hansel has. You know, he's an actor slash dancer slash mortal slash archery expert. <laughs> so he may add something here. Um, and also he'll be going through his Saturn return. And this is a time of like extreme maturity, transformation, you know, changing your life in a really big way and like kind of letting go of anything that doesn't define you as an adult. Okay. Um, and that's from 2021 to like 2023. Oh, and one last thing I forgot to add is archery. I was like, oh my God, of course he does archery. Archery, you know, air shooting arrows, that's ruled by Sagittarius. And his moon sign is Sagittarius. A lot of Sag people, they really like to do archery or they like horses. Um, all that stuff is is uh, Sagittarius symbols. The arrows and, and the half horse, half human, you know, so actual horses, Sag is usually have an affinity for. Um, if you're a Sag and you don't like it, well, then look at the rest of your chart and leave me alone, okay? <laughs> so that's pretty much it guys i just wanted to take a look at um, manny's chart if you have any questions below let me know um, if you have any intelligent astrological based conversation or questions let me know i do not tolerate hateful comments towards anybody here okay so just save them for save the drama for something else um, do not bring it here because we look at people's personalities and we analyze them and that's pretty much it. So thank you guys. If you enjoyed this reading, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, um, subscribe and let me know in the comments who you would like me to take a look at and read and or any type of situation or relationship between any two social media influencers. I will look at those as well and give predictions and stuff. But yeah, thanks for watching. And if you would like me to look at your chart in a personal way, then go ahead and hit my website, which is indigomoonastrology.com. And I will be so happy to do a reading for you. So thanks again, guys. And I will see you in my next video. Peace.
Okay, guys, this is just in breaking astro news. While I was searching for the proper photo to use as a thumbnail for this video, I stumbled upon in my Google image search for Manny Mua, a natal chart, <gasps> a natal chart on astro.com. Astro Data Bank is a very reliable source. However, sometimes, you know, they can get some things wrong. You know what I mean? But I discovered this chart and it has Manny as a Leo rising. And I was like, uh, excuse me, because uh, that's not what I pick up from him. But, um, and I look for the source of information. It says Kathleen Lights on Twitter. And Kathleen Lights, if you don't know who she is, she's also a, a mega YouTube beauty guru. And she is really into astrology. I mean, into the natal charts, okay? Not just, well, my sun sign is blah, blah, blah. And it start, stops there, you know? She's into all the real deal stuff. So I'm like, hold up. I mean, not to discredit Kathleen, not to discredit anybody, but I'm just shocked. I am shooketh at the Leo risingness of it all. And um, I'm wondering, I did tweet them. I don't know if they would ever answer. I have no idea if they would. But I did tweet and I asked, is this by birth certificate or by memory? Because a lot of times people will just by memory say, oh yeah, uh, you were born at blah, blah, blah. I think you may have been born at blah, 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 blah. And then it turns out that they were wrong. Trust me, I'm in many astrology groups online and discussions and forums. And it happens to the best of them to where mom was wrong, birth certificate was right or vice versa. You know what I'm saying? And then also a lot of times hospitals can get it wrong too, you know, as far as your birth time. And um, it's an energy that I pick up on. I pick up on a very heavy Libra-esque energy from Manny. So that's how I came up with the Libra rising. Um, I don't know how accurate their resources are, you know, or I mean... For the resource for himself. <laughs> I don't know if he asked his moms or if he actually looked at his birth certificate. I don't know. But he has a very strong Libra influence. But Libra is ruled by the planet Venus. And a lot of times when someone has a very strong Venus, um, when someone has a very strong Venus, that can give off the same type of energy as the sign that it rules. And Venus is in its home sign of Taurus in his chart too. Taurus and Libra are both ruled by Venus. So they radiate a similar energy, not completely like twinsies or anything, but a similar energy. And a lot of times when you have Venus on an angle, which is a little complicated to explain for newbies, but pretty much you have Venus here, here or here this is where people can see you these are the the main houses to where everybody everybody sees you with whatever planet is in here they see you as that and this is public image that would put venus up here in the place of public image which means he radiates all this venus you know pink blush pinky nude venus energy all out into the world based on the venus being on an angle in this leo rising chart i'm sorry i still feel i'm like manny yo like get out your mom's man check your birth certificate are you sure are you sure that time was right are you positive because listen i am an intuitive i am a pro and um i really pick up on libra or seventh house or something so anyway get at me you guys <laughs> get at me manny get at me kathleen um, but I just wanted to give this little update because I was, I was completely like baffled and shooketh at, at the Leo-ness of it all. He doesn't really come across as Leo to me. He does touch his hair a lot. Leo does rule the hair, but Aries rules the head. You know what I'm saying? And this does not disprove astrology or the credibility of astrology or an astrologer in any type of way. You guys, it's energy. It's energy. We try our best to measure it, to hone it in, to look at calculations and stuff, but energy cannot be contained. You know what I'm saying? So it could be coming from different sources, multiple equations to come out to the same answer is very common in astrology so i just wanted to put that out there that you know your girl is not like some ten dollar holla psychic trying to pull some things out of my butt tucks okay i know what i'm talking about and i know what i'm doing but anyhow
Thank you so much for watching. And who knows, maybe we'll do a part two if somebody hollers at me with the right details and info and confirmations. All right, peace.